You taste a holy grail in this one. Oh, it tastes like holy grail. <laughs> Today, we are going to do a very special chocolate event. We're actually ordering a delicious chocolate from a store in Calgary uh, called Chocolate. Awesome. Awesome. So I'm going to their website, uh, sochocolate.com, and I'll put the link in the description bar below. We are going to order the 70% Chuao, Brazilian Estate 70%. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay. The Chiaga 70%. Sure. Okay. So the final one we're going to get do we want the Akumere Mare or the Porcelana Grand? Yeah, we can we can pronounce the, that one. Let's get it. Porcelana Grand Crew is twenty dollars. Mm. No, really makes me want to try. No, it. we like. I'll pitch my own money into there for twenty dollar chocolate just to try it. Are you really? Yeah, let's do it. So far, the total with GST is eighty dollars <laughs> for four chocolate bars. This is the boring part that'll probably be cut out. Yep. <laughs> Do we want to put the things we do as reviews or ink and ink chocolate? chocolate? Let's do ink and chocolate. Because I think that would be cool. And then if you ever talk to him, we can be like, hey, we're the ink and chocolate people. And he'd be like, you're my new hero. Can I push it? Yes. Oh, I paid. Whoa. I paid. We got a little confirmation and it says we've received your order. You must ensure someone is available to accept delivery because they don't want chocolate sitting on a hot doorstep and then you're getting mad because it all melted. We will be back once our chocolate arrives. So we got our chocolate. We're going to show you what $60 worth of chocolate looks like. And then we're going to find out what $60 worth of high quality chocolate tastes like. Here's the unboxing. I'm excited to see what that $20 chocolate bar tastes like. Okay, they taped the bejeebers out of it. I think they do that because it's better. Um, what the hell was that comment? <laughs> I think your face is like that because it's better. Ooh. <laughs> your mom's better. <gasps> oh, success! <laughs> Here's our receipt. Oh. So we have four lovely bars of chocolate. These are death wrapped in plastic. Well, they do that so they don't transfer the flavors to each other. The Porcelana is the most expensive chocolate. $20 of chocolate right here. So which one are you gonna try first? We have the Brazilian. Brazilian 70%. The cocoa beans that make up this dark chocolate come from a single estate in the Floresta Azul region of Brazil. It is incredibly aromatic and wonderfully fruity with a nutty finish. You would almost think we added fruit or nuts to the chocolate. We didn't. Whoa! Everybody's probably wondering why you didn't break that one's spine like you, or adjust that one's spine, spine like you did on the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get this show on the road. Alright. It's the Brazilian. Mm. It almost doesn't taste like dark chocolate. Yeah, it's really smooth. Mm -hmm. All right, let's save the rest of this puppy. Okay. That Ooh. one's definitely on my buy again list. That's amazing. So good. Okay, what's up next? Ah, the Chiaga. Chiagawa? Chiagua? Kawaga. Kawaga? <laughs> Chiaga? The ch -ch Chia. Chiagawa? <laughs> Chi your mama? We're gonna call it the Kuaga. Like, oh, we want me to read it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I still got Brazilian in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe to quit, come on. <laughs> the cacao plantations in this remote village of Venezuela date back to the 1700s and have a world renowned reputation for producing incredible chocolate. In sampling this dark chocolate, you will detect notes of apricot, honey, caramel, and other spices. Well worth our three-year effort to source these beans. And they're called cacao beans, not cocoa beans. Don't be a chocolate noob and call them cocoa beans. Silly chocolate noobs. Oh, you hear that crunch? Ooh. Here. That's a good snap. Ooh. 
There's yours. Thank you. There's mine. Mmm. 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 Mm hmm. It has kind of a almost a deeper chocolate taste to it. It's not really smoky, but it's like. Try to do that again. Mmm. Yeah, there's a smoky flavor to it. Mm hmm. I can taste that caramel. Whoa! Our chocolate palette has like leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> One more. <laughs> All right, we'll put that one aside. Now the Chuo is next. Chuo, pronounced Chu Wow, is to chocolatiers <laughs> like Mount Everest is to climbers. It is the pinnacle of the industry and has a taste that most chocolate makers aspire their own chocolate to taste like. The aftertaste of this dark chocolate never seems to end and is reminiscent of the best brownie in the world. It truly is Chu Wow. <laughs> they taped both of it. No, oh, it's okay. It's okay, See? crisis averted. Now we should also mention that chocolate is the only manufacturer of chocolate in Alberta. Other guys make chocolates, but they import the chocolate, melt it, make things. This guy actually makes it from the raw ingredients. There's probably other guys in other provinces, but I mean, why would you want to leave Alberta? Alberta's where the homies are, yo. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Alberta. We are. That means it's cool, right? Yeah. I'll let you have the big piece this Ooh, time. I think I had the big piece last time too. What? Yeah, I cheated. Ripping <laughs> your wife off? A little bit. Mmm. Mmm. Yep, that one's still my favorite of the three. It just... Uh, it's so good. It's so good. If you could only get one chocolate from Chocolate the Store, mm -hmm. in our opinion, you should get the Chew Wow. Because it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing! In fact, I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. Amazing! <laughs> scared me. Now I'm really excited to try the $20 chocolate. It's uh, kind of got me in suspense because, uh, I mean, Chuao is like my favorite. If that's a duck, I'd throw my bread to. Hey, you gotta read the back. All right, I get to read the back and this time I won't laugh or screw it up. Porcelana, 70%. Considered to be the holy grail of the chocolate world, Porcelana gets its name from the pearl white color of the cacao beans when they are harvested. Prepare for a real paradigm shift when you taste this. Deep raisin and fruit notes will leave you thinking you just had a sip of wine with this dark chocolate. Okay, let's go. I want to taste right. that deep raisin fruit notes. All right, well, I'm going to eat this. Oh, baby. I can smell raisin already. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I can totally taste raisin. Well, it's not like really strong raisin. No, but you, you can feel it after. Let's see, there's another. I know. This one's like a little mm. bit more, I think it's more intense. Mm-hmm. It just But it's like, oh man. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there's another flavor there too. Mother of Pearl. I'm gonna try and eat it like a Okay, another bite, tester. another bite. Yeah. Okay. Would you pay $20 for this one again? <sighs> I'm the wrong person to ask. All of these chocolates, they're so amazing. I like I feel it's worth it for all of them. If I could only have one chocolate bar, mm. as amazing as this was, I would still pick the Chuao. I'm kind of with you on this one. If you're looking for something maybe to impress your mm. friends, uh, the Porcelana might be uh, a good way to go, but the Chuao mm. will never disappoint. It's like a favorite pair of jeans that you own. They like fit perfectly, they're comfortable, they make your butt look fabulous. You just can't go wrong with it. I'm not sure how this chocolate's gonna make my butt look fabulous, but oh, it's I gonna don't make care. mine look fabulous. It tastes good, and I don't care. Today's game is brought to you by bananas. We are going to play a game of twenty questions, and the winner gets to eat a lovely um, banana split. The loser also gets to eat a banana split, but they have to eat it without hands. Who's gonna go first? You can start. Okay, I got one. Is it alive? No. Can you eat it? No. Is it larger than our vehicle? Yes. Do people go inside it? Yes. Is it a house? No. Does it go in water? No. Is it in a city? Yes. Can the public go into it? Usually yes. 
Do you sell things in it? Often, yes. Are animals in it? Not typically. Is it an office? No. Is it a warehouse? No. Well, you don't sound very sure, sir. Well, Is it a mall? No. Correct. Does it have more than one story? Yes. Does it have more than five stories? Yes. Is it a high rise building? Yes. So that's 16 questions. See how it was kind of sometimes off. It is a high rise like, building? Yes. <gasps> I guessed it! <laughs> I okay. have mine in mind. Okay, so my turn. All right. <clears throat> is it an animal? No. Mineral? No. Okay, is it living? No. Wait, is it a plant? No, it's not a plant. Oh, plant, that was the other one. Do you find it in the city? Yes. Only the city? No. Is it bigger than a house? No. Do you use it for entertainment? Yes. Do we have one? Yes. Do we have more than one? Yes. Is it electronic? No. Do we use it every day? No. Wait, I take that back. Yes. Ooh. So non-electronic thing we use every day for entertainment and we have more than one. Is it my pillow? No. Oh. Is it specific to one room? No. Do you pick it up to use it? Yes. One question. Okay, <laughs> I have to guess what it is or else I don't get it. Is it a tank? No. Okay, well I give up. It's a ball! Oh, <laughs> yeah. So we throw our balls for our dogs every day. It's not room specific. He just licked my spoon. <laughs> That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you like watching my face get all disgusting, give a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos next week to see our nerdy antics. <laughs> <laughs>